This video contains information about the use of cetratide. This drug has been prescribed to you by your doctor for treating infertility. To help you prepare and use this medicine, watch this video and read the instructions provided carefully. Ask your doctor, nurse, or pharmacist to explain anything you do not understand. Keep the leaflet. You may want to read it again. Preparing and self-administering cetratide 0.25 mg. Getting ready. Make sure you have all the necessary materials assembled in a clean area. One vial of cetratide 0.25 mg powder, pre-filled syringe of sterile water for injection USP, one pre-filled syringe, one yellow 20 gauge 1 1/2 inch mixing needle, one gray 27 gauge 3 quarter inch injection needle, alcohol swabs, gauze, and a sharps container. Wash your hands with soap and water and make sure you are working on a clean, flat surface. Step 1. Mix. Using your thumb, flip off the protective plastic cap on the cetratide vial. Wipe the top of the vial with an alcohol swab. Remove the wrapping from the yellow mixing needle. Take the pre-filled syringe and remove the cover. Twist the yellow mixing needle on the syringe and remove the cover of the needle. With the vial on a flat surface, insert the needle of the pre-filled syringe straight down through the marked center circle of the rubber stopper of the vial. Slowly inject the water into the powder vial by pressing on the plunger. Swirl the vial gently. If bubbles appear, wait a few moments for the bubbles to settle. The liquid should be clear. Step 2. Preparing your injection. Keep the needle inside the vial as you lift the vial and turn it upside down with the needle pointing upward. Slowly pull back the plunger until the syringe fills with the total contents of the vial. Carefully remove the syringe needle from the vial. It is important to withdraw the entire contents of the vial. Recap the syringe needle. Detach the mixing needle from the syringe and lay down the syringe. Remove the wrapping from the gray injection needle. Twist the injection needle onto the syringe and remove the cover of the needle. Remove any bubbles by pointing the needle up and tapping on the syringe. Push the plunger carefully until a small drop of liquid begins to appear from the tip of the needle. Step 3. Inject. Choose an injection site in the lower abdominal area, preferably around the belly button, but at least one inch away. Choose a different injection site each day to minimize local irritation. Take an alcohol wipe and clean the skin at the injection site and allow it to air dry. Hold the syringe with one hand the way you would hold a pencil. Pinch the skin on the chosen injection site with the other hand. Insert the entire length of the needle into the skin at an upward angle of about 45 to 90 degrees, as indicated by your doctor or nurse. Release the hand pinching the skin and depress the plunger in a slow, steady motion until all the medication is injected. Gently withdraw the needle and apply pressure to the injection site by using a gauze pad. Step 4. Disposal. Discard the empty syringe and used needles in an FDA-cleared sharps disposal container right away after use. Do not throw away empty syringes or loose needles in your household trash. If you do not have an FDA-cleared sharps disposal container, you may use a household container that is made of heavy-duty plastic, fitted with a tight, puncture-resistant lid, leak-resistant, upright and stable during use, and properly labeled to warn of hazardous waste inside the container. When your Sharps disposal container is almost full, follow community guidelines for disposal. For more information, go to www.fda.gov slash safe sharps disposal. Step 5. Storage. Store cetratide 0.25 mg in the refrigerator between 36 and 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep the package tray in the outer carton in order to protect it from light. Do not use the cetratide powder or the pre-filled syringe after the expiration date, which is printed on the labels and on the carton. Dispose of the vial and the syringe properly. 
The solution should be used immediately after preparation. For more information and full prescribing information, please visit www.fertilitylifelines.com or call 1-800-LET'S-TRY. Important information about the proper use and risks of cetratide, cetra relics acetate for injection. What are the uses of cetratide? Cetratide blocks the effects of a natural hormone called gonadotropin-releasing hormone, GnRH. GnRH controls the secretion of another hormone called luteinizing hormone, LH, which induces ovulation during the menstrual cycle. During hormone treatment for ovarian stimulation, Premature ovulation may lead to eggs that are not suitable for fertilization. Cetratide blocks such undesirable premature ovulation. Who should not use cetratide? Cetratide should not be used in patients who are pregnant, think they might be pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Cetratide should not be used in patients with kidney disease. Patients that are allergic to cetrorelix acetate, mannitol, or exogenous peptide hormones, medicines similar to cetratide, should not use cetratide. Consult your doctor before taking cetratide if you have had severe allergic reactions. What are the possible side effects of cetratide? Your doctor should review with you the risks and benefits of using cetratide. As with any medication, report any and all side effects, symptoms, or physical changes to your doctor. Mild and short-lasting reactions may occur at the injection site, like reddening, itching, and swelling. Nausea and headache have also been reported. Call your doctor if you have any other side effect or if you are unsure about the effect of this medicine.